Zare, most wars by proxy or direct are started by private institutions that control politicians. We should do a map that re remarks which corporations by name uh, is behind each campaign. I think it's more in corporations. I agree with you. Corporations are the front people when they go in and they make the profits, launder money through Wall Street. But I think a lot of Lo uh, royalty are involved a lot of secret organizations are involved so i don't think it should be to a certain degree corporations indeed but i th i think it should be and it would be very difficult to do we would have to need pictures and stuff but find out and there are maps of this available like um not maps but graphics of this available of who the people are that are that sit on which board of directors of which corporations right so there are people that sit on boards of directors of corporations, multiple corporations, and all of those corporations are involved in war, propagating war, right? Uh, starting wars, conducting coups, right? Like one of them would be BlackRock. BlackRock owns most of a uh, huge chunk of Fox, huge chunk of Dominion, huge chunk of whatever, whatever. They sue each other, but all they're doing is moving money around, right? So it's it's not like Coca-Cola had death squads in Colombia, right? So Coca-Cola had death squads in Colombia because Coca-Cola needed to have access to water, right? So they were draining the water sources of farmlands and people rose up. You know, activists came up and said, hey, this is not good. Colombians need our water instead of giving it to Coca-Cola for free in their factory. And Coca-Cola hired fucking gangs and murderers to kill those activists, right? And that has happened with multiple corporations in multiple Central and South American countries, right? Ecuador, Banana Republic right the term banana republic comes i believe if i recall my history correctly from chiquita bananas or something or the government there wanted to keep i think one or two cents extra per pound or something and the u.s government overthrew the government uh, overthrew the government in ecuador and they called the banana republic right put their own leaders in power and that's what it is so it's corporations sure but it's the people behind the corporations um it's a difficult game zara i know where you're going with this um difficult like halliburton for sure i think there's absolutely nothing good about halliburton right who's on the board of directors there dick cheney oh dick cheney was on the board of directors became vice president of the united states of america for eight years and shit <laughs> right it's crazy it's a gong show what we need to do is decentralize the world in my opinion right how do we do with the corporation Zara? right con enzo enzo says great point right so if we're going to do with a corporation by the way i have one of the flags um uh, if you guys know a company called adbusters is a it's a publication, independent publication, a magazine um, located in Vancouver that came out uh, pre 9-11 and they made it big during 9-11, revealing some stuff. Um, they used to have a flag, they used to sell a flag. I'm pretty sure they still do the corporate American flag. And I have one of those. So maybe we can bring that out and say which corporations are waging war where, right? I gotta find it first. I gotta find it first. 